In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this video inside of text effect in Premiere Pro CC. So hope you're going to enjoy and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a project and then you want to import your footage into it. Uh, in this case, I am going to import um, this amazing drone shot that I have um, of Pico de Arriero from Madeira. Uh, this is a beautiful island in Portugal. Actually, I just came uh, back from there last week. so thought I would uh, use this in this tutorial. But anyways, then the next thing you want to do is create the text for it. So uh, you need to press T on your keyboard and then type whatever text you want to have the video inside of. So uh, in this case, I'm going to put in Madeira and then you want to select um, your font that you want to use. In uh, this effect example, I recommend using a font that is pretty bold and uh, pretty thick. So the video is uh, going to be, you know, easily seeable uh, inside of it. So I don't recommend using like a super thin font. Um, I think Bebas Noya is pretty good for this one, especially the bold version. So I'm just going to stick with that. It's one of my favorite fonts. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. to somewhere around here. And now that I have my text, uh, I'm going to expand it over the whole video clip under it. And then I'm going to go to my effects tab in Premiere Pro. And then you want to search up track matte key. Um, and uh, then you want to add this effect to your video. Um, and then you need to go into effect controls uh, for your video. So once you are here in effect controls, you are going to see this track matte key effect. Uh, and then here at the mat, you want to select uh, whatever video track your uh, text is on. So in this case, I'm going to select video um, two. And then as you can see, we have created this effect success successfully. So let's take a look at it. As you can see now the video that's under the text is inside of the text. Now, what to do if you want to change the background color of it, for example? Well, let me show you how you can do that real quick. So the first thing is, um, let's say if you want to change it to another um, video, the way you can do that is you are going to import a new video into it. They are not in the same FPS, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to um, put these two videos a little bit um, further up. So there is space in video track one for this one as well. And then as you can see, now I have uh, three layers. The top one is the text. The one under it is um, basically um, the mountains video. And then uh, we have the ocean video as well. So now I, what I need to do is I will uh, change here on this mountain video, the original one, the math to video three, because um, I obviously moved them to one video track above. And then now, as you can see, I changed the background to this, um, you know, clip of the ocean. So boom, as you can see, this is a little bit hard to read and kind of trippy, but hey, it works. But let's say you just wanted to use uh, a different color uh, as the background, okay? So what you're gonna do to achieve that, to change it from black to whatever, let's say uh, green or white, is you're gonna go here, right click, and then you go new item, uh, click on color mat, and then uh, make it the same uh, settings as your sequence, it's automatically going to do that. Then you can choose the color that you want to use. Uh, let's just say you're going to use uh, a light green, for example, um, like this. And uh, I'm going to click OK. You can name it here. I'm going to um, keep it color matte. And then you will put that onto video track one. And then as you can see, you have changed the background of it. Uh, well, this color is quite ugly in my opinion, but uh, anyways, you can you know change it to whatever color you want. So hope you guys found this video useful. If you're looking to get Premiere Pro, then click the link in the description and uh, grab an amazing discount uh, right over there. That also helps the channel a lot because it's an affiliate link. So I get a little bit of a kickback from it. So I highly appreciate every single one of you guys who get it through it. And other than that, if you want more Premiere Pro tutorials, check out the channel. If you're creative, trying to get some high paying clients online as well, check out the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.